In this video, we're going to go over practice number four. At first glance, it looks a lot more difficult than the previous ones, but it's really not. It's just a little bit different. So <laughs> the first thing we see is it has two different views instead of just one. But if, if we line things up, everything kind of goes with each other. So don't worry about that right now. <laughs> Another thing you can see is that it's metric, and these are really big numbers. So we're probably going to have to zoom out a lot before we start drawing. So let's do that first, and then we can kind of make a plan on how we're going to do it. So when going to AutoCAD, I'm going to zoom. I'm going to say 0.1x. I'm going to zoom out 10 times. Now I can kind of move around and see if I have enough space by looking at my coordinates down here. And I do. So now, kind of the way I would get started would be maybe draw a center line here and then figure out where these other two circles are. So that's 50 and it's up 25 so I'm going to draw a line that's 50 and I'm going to offset it 25 both up and down. I'm going to look at these see that these circles are all a radius of 18 so I'm going to draw a circle with an 18 inch ra or 18 millimeter radius. Circle 18, circle 18, and the holes are 12. So just keep going. Oh, not a radius of 12. A diameter of 12. Come back here, and that looks pretty good. I really don't need these two lines anymore, so I'll erase those. I'll come back and look at that. So now I've got these arcs here that I need to do. So that's a radius of 50. So I'll just go to here tangent, tangent, radius, tangent, tangent, 50. TTR, tangent, tangent, 50. There you go. Go back here, look at it. And this is 18 across there. So this line needs to go 9 up and 9 down. So offset, 9, that way, and that way. And now we can do some trimming. Or I'll pull it out this way a little bit just using the grips, picking on it and pulling it out. So now, pull this side back to that intersection, pull this back to there, just cut it a little trimming down. Now I can trim the rest of this. And see this is where that edge mode kind of gets in the way. So I'm going to say E for edge mode and no extend. That way it just kind of trims it all back where I want it. You might as well do these here. So this is a radius of 12. So tangent, tangent, 12. Tangent, tangent, 12. And some more trimming. And it kind of froze up a little bit for a second. But there, that shape is pretty much the same as that now. But oh, these, these lines did need to extend down. We'll figure out where that goes in just a minute. So now, if we look at this, we don't know where this is. So we don't really know how long that needs to be. But down here, we do. So let's start drawing down to make this view. I know that needs to be 10, somewhere down here somewhere. So I'm going to just draw a line. I'm going to track down from there a good bit and then go down 10 from there so that that line is lined up with that and it's 10. Just what we have right here. 
and we have 125 to the center of this hole. So I'm going to offset that, 125. But how high up is that? If we look here, we see it's a radius of 22. So let's just draw a line. We need that line there anyways. And then we could use a two-point circle, right? Go here, and we want to go all the way to the other side of the diameter, so we're going to go 44. So that was 22 to the radius, another 22 to the top. And that's pretty much what we have here. Now we need a little bit of a line here. And this with a radius of 125. So we'll draw a line run across. And then we'll do a tangent tangent radius from there to there, 125. So it's looking pretty close now. So we just now need to do some trimming. So we'll trim again. Trim that. We'll just take that off. We'll, and we'll take take that off. We don't need that. So now we need to kind of figure out where some of those go and put that hole in. So that hole is a diameter of 20. Diameter of 20. And now we need to figure out kind of where things stop. So these two lines need to stop there. So we're just going to bring a line from there straight up. Now we're just going to pull these out using our grips until they hit that line. And we'll just trim that off. Same thing here. These lines need to come forward until they hit that tangent point, And this line needs to go over until it hits that tangent point. So I'm going to draw a line from there down and from there up. So this line will go to there. These lines will go to there. And delete those. And I can delete that now. So now we can look at it and see that, yes, it's looking pretty good. Now we just need to go in and fill in our hidden lines and our center lines. So for that, we need to switch our layers. So I'm going to do hidden lines first. So I'm going to switch to hidden. And this is where that construction line comes in really handy. Because I'm just going to go XL for construction line. I'm going to go down and turn on my quadrant. So that way I can just hit my, my quadrant. So put XL vertical. Bam, 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 bam. Now I can just do some trimming there to there, there to there. Now I can't see my dashes here because we're zoomed out so big, but we don't really need to worry about that here in model space. So if I look back here, then yeah, that looks pretty good. <coughs> so next thing is my center lines. So. <coughs> I'm going to offset this probably about three. I'll set that down three and go out three there, out three there, out three there. <coughs> and now I can draw some center lines. So first change my layer to center. Now I'm going to draw a center line from there to there, from there to there, and I'll just take that and pull it out three. Delete those. I can put those in if I want. 
draw a line midway between two points from there to there draw that down and bring it up I could also take it and project it from there till it hits that line and then continue it down to there so a few different ways to do it put this one in and to make it even both ways I'm just going to mirror it at a 45 degree angle and I can just take that copy it over there and over there and just maybe do a little trimming on it if I wanted to so I'm just going to do that same circle I had earlier but now I'll make it all the way around then you erase those two and take a look at it so maybe just bring this one back a little bit We've got this one here, so let's just copy that. So sometimes it takes a little bit going back and forth. I'll just mirror that from there at 45 again to get that. So now that looks pretty right on, except for the oh, for about that line. So offset that. We'll just do our tracking from there to there and that looks pretty good so if we want to go into our layout like this one had in it um, <clears throat> so maybe I'll go into my layout B just to kind of see what it'll look like double click to see, see everything and if I pick my scales here these aren't going to work because these are inch scales and we need a metric scale so we're going to go to custom we're going to make a new one. We're going to go add. We're going to go 1 to 1 M for metric. So one drawing, one paper unit. We want it to be 25.4 because there's 25.4 millimeters per inch. Say OK and OK. Now we'll pick that scale. And that looks pretty good. Zoom in on it. You can see that's going good. Uh, our center lines didn't break though. So if we type LTS change it to 0.5 now it kind of shortens down all of our dashes but it kind of made everything else smaller too so let's undo that and we just want to change just those so let's lock our viewport so we don't get messed up and then we're just going to pick these ones that needed some work on them we're going to right click go to properties and then under properties we have a line type scale also so we're just going to change just those ones to be half so now we have smaller dashes than just those three lines so if we did a print preview you could see that our dashes are better. We've got our thick and thin lines. So everything's looking good for this. So hope you follow along pretty good and did a good job.